Have you ever come across a movie that has left an indelible mark on your cinematic memory? One such timeless classic is the 1932 film Shanghai Express. It's a captivating journey that weaves drama, romance, and suspense into a gripping narrative, leaving you with a sense of wonder. As you reflect on this cinematic gem, you might ask yourself, do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? Or out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to Shanghai Express. Share your most cherished memory or personal experience in the comments below, and let's continue to celebrate the magic of this remarkable film. Now, let's dive into some fascinating facts about the show. Shanghai Express was directed by Joseph von Sternberg and starred the iconic Marlene Dietrich in the lead role. It's a testament to the golden age of Hollywood with its intricate sets, stunning cinematography, and unforgettable characters. Share your thoughts and memories with us and let's celebrate this cinematic masterpiece together. Your experiences are a testament to the enduring impact of Shanghai Express. We look forward to hearing from you. The 1932 movie Shanghai Express was the highest grossing film of that year in both the USA and Canada. It's a notable achievement for this film, which added to its lasting legacy in cinema. Shanghai Express captured the audience's attention and proved to be a commercial success in 1932, making it a significant part of Hollywood's history. This financial success reflects its popularity and the impact it had on the viewers at the time. The film's plot, performances, and direction played a crucial role in its success. The movie, directed by Joseph von Sternberg, starred Marlene Dietrich and Anna May Wong, who both delivered remarkable performances that contributed to the film's appeal. Shanghai Express was a product of hard work, as it was shot over a period of four months. This dedication to creating the film is evident in the final product as it continues to be recognized and appreciated by audiences and film enthusiasts. Additionally, there have been rumors about Marlene Dietrich and Anna May Wong having an affair during the filming of Shanghai Express, but these rumors have never been confirmed. The personal lives of the actors have added intrigue to the film's history, but the details remain uncertain. In conclusion, Shanghai Express remains a significant film from 1932, achieving the status of the highest grossing film that year in both the USA and Canada. Its enduring appeal and intriguing history continue to captivate audiences and historians to this day. China initially banned the movie Shanghai Express, demanding its withdrawal from worldwide circulation. The ban was lifted when Paramount pledged not to make another film involving Chinese politics. This historical incident sheds light on the film's impact beyond the screen and the diplomatic tensions it inadvertently stirred. Shanghai Express, released in 1932, remains a notable piece of cinematic history marked not only by its box office success, but also by the complex web of international relations it briefly entangled itself in. Its enduring appeal and intriguing history continue to captivate audiences and historians to this day. The film Shanghai Express, released in 1932, is known for its intriguing history and impact beyond the screen. It was initially banned in China, leading to its withdrawal from worldwide circulation. The ban was lifted after Paramount promised not to make another film involving Chinese politics. This incident sheds light on the film's role in diplomatic tensions. Shanghai Express remains a notable piece of cinematic history, marked not only by its box office success, but also by the complex web of international relations it briefly entangled itself in. Its enduring appeal and intriguing history continue to captivate audiences and historians to this day. The black and white leather gloves Marlene Dietrich wears at the start of the film were custom made by Hermes. These iconic gloves became a symbol of her character's style in the 1932 movie Shanghai Express. The attention to detail in the costume design added to the film's overall appeal, showcasing the dedication of the production team to create a captivating cinematic experience. Shanghai Express, with its unique fashion choices and unforgettable characters, remains a significant piece of film history, drawing in audiences and historians to this day. Joseph von Sternberg's intention for the 1932 movie Shanghai Express was to have its style mirror the rhythm of a train journey. This concept shaped the film's tight pace and the rather staccato quality of the dialogue. 
It's worth noting that among the seven collaborations between Joseph von Sternberg and Marlene Dietrich, this film stood out as their biggest financial success. Additionally, the movie holds a place of recognition, being included among the 1001 movies you must see before you die, as per Steven Schneider's editing. These aspects highlight the film's unique artistic approach and its significance in both cinematic history and Marlene Dietrich's career, making it a must-see for movie enthusiasts. This information provides a solid starting point for an in-depth article on the 1932 movie Shanghai Express, shedding light on its distinctive style and critical acclaim. Shanghai Express, the 1932 movie, holds a unique place in cinematic history. Among its intriguing facts, one stands out during the final clinch scene. There's an advert for Guinness on the wall behind the characters Shanghai Lily and Harvey. This subtle detail adds to the film's rich tapestry, highlighting the attention to detail by the production team. With over 1,000 extras involved in its making, Shanghai Express was a massive production. Its scale and ambition are evident in every frame, making it a significant piece of film history. Furthermore, it's worth noting that this film, along with many other Paramount productions, became part of the MCA Universal Library in 1958, solidifying its enduring legacy. Its television premiere in 1959 and subsequent releases on DVD have kept it alive in the hearts of movie enthusiasts. Shanghai Express remains a remarkable piece of cinema, from its meticulous attention to detail to its lasting impact in the world of film. The 1932 movie Shanghai Express is part of the Criterion Collection, Spine 933. This prestigious inclusion highlights the film's enduring significance in cinematic history. Its place among the Criterion Collection's carefully curated selection underscores the movie's lasting impact and artistic merit. Shanghai Express continues to captivate audiences and historians, cementing its position as a must-see classic. The 1932 movie Shanghai Express, directed by Joseph von Sternberg, marks the fourth and final collaboration between von Sternberg and cinematographer Lee Garms. This partnership played a crucial role in shaping the film's visual style and contributed to its unique cinematic appeal. Their combined vision brought the world of Shanghai Express to life on the screen, showcasing their creative synergy. This fact sheds light on the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the film making it a fascinating starting point for an in-depth exploration of this classic movie. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey, I invite you to pause and reflect on your own personal connection with the 1932 movie Shanghai Express. This timeless classic has woven its narrative threads into the tapestry of film history, and its impact extends far beyond the screen. Perhaps you were captivated by the enigmatic beauty of Marlene Dietrich, or maybe you marveled at Joseph von Sternberg's masterful direction. Did you find yourself transported to the mysterious world of the Shanghai Express as the train rumbled through the perilous Chinese countryside? Or did the poignant themes of love, sacrifice, and redemption strike a chord in your heart? Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts and cherished memories of this cinematic gem. What did Shanghai Express mean to you, and how has it left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey? Your unique perspective adds depth and richness to the collective appreciation of this film. Thank you for taking this cinematic voyage with us and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your engagement and enthusiasm are what make these discussions come alive. Until our next cinematic exploration, keep the reel of your own life spinning. This has been an outro to remember.